we hope, and I, I mentioned the rule of law mechanism, but you know, we are in, in, on a number of different subject areas, including SLAPs, um, including the question uh, of, of gender safety. We're, we're seeing uh, the development of a sort of pan-European press freedom movement um, on different subject areas that really um, is indicative of the benefits that um, solidarity among civil society groups, that the, the benefits that we can have in terms of working together. And so I would really push the institutions to help act as a platform for press freedom groups, for journalist unions, for media freedom experts, for all types of journalists, for freelancers, for investigative journalists, to help us work together and better communicate on policy and practice reforms so that we can actually in the long term protect press freedom because this change is going to be long term it's going to be continuous but let's try and make it dynamic let's really strengthen our engagement let's make it inspiration because ultimately we have to be in the struggle together and the institutions need to be with the press freedom community